All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube. Uh, we got Gruel Elves for a donation deck that we have uh, up uh, for this video. Um, was not able to get the Jund Death Whirler video uh, recorded. We uh, had some internet trouble during the middle of it, so uh, that video is not going to be up on YouTube. But the deck was pretty fun. Uh, it's certainly a deck I'll be playing again, and it was a deck that I enjoyed playing and think that there's some... Uh, some good potential with it. Not sure if I really liked the sideboard a whole lot, um, but yeah, playing uh, Chain Whirler with Status Statue is awesome. I live in Roanoke, Virginia right now. Um, all right, but anyway, for... Uh, uh, no, I was born in Iowa, yeah. Um, for today, uh, Julie says, feel free to change the sideboard. I did it pretty quickly and certainly need some changes. Um, I don't really like Death Gorge Scavenger, but besides that, yeah, I just don't like Death Gorge Scavenger. That's like the only thing I don't really not like. Um, yeah, this card just doesn't do anything. What would we want to... If we take out Death Gorge Scavenger, what would we want to play? Um, I love how Growth Chamber Guardian's an elf. Anyway, so I'll talk about this deck a little bit while while we think about that for, for y'all here on YouTube and everything. So basically what we're, what we're trying to do is add a lot of mana. So we have, you know, Lana War Elf, Incubation Druid, Marwyn, um, Elfim Druid, a lot of ways to get um, a lot of mana, and with all that mana, we're going to be kicking fight with fires, and uh, casting big bane fires, and finishing out some getting some huge burn spells. Grand Warlord Rada helps you add some more mana. Growing Rites gets to transform and add a bunch of mana, and that's what we're going to be trying to do here. Um, yeah, I like, I like Banner. Um, we need something against decks with sweepers in our sideboard. That's what that's what we need with this Death Gorge Scavenger slot. Like, Banner could certainly be that. Um, it's probably probably Banner. I don't think that there is a really good option against Sweepers in just the green-red colors. So, yeah, Banner seems fine. All right, so I'll edit that on Stream Decker. Take out those scavengers, put in two banner. Bruce banner. Put in two Bruce banner. Immortal Sun certainly an option too. Um, I think I like Vanquisher's banner more, but that's a good option. Is three bane fire a bit too much? Not really. Like that's our that's our plan. You know, like our our plan is to bane fire, and you know we may need to like kind of go bane fire like a couple bane fires. You know, like maybe our first ones like for eight, and our second ones for nine. You know, maybe something like that. All right, traditional constructed. Here we go. Gruel elves. Yeah, Arch of Orozco, I don't think that's uh, something that we need multiple copies of. Um, but I could certainly see, like, I'd, I love me some multi, some uh, Arch of Orozco, so I, I wouldn't hate playing multiple copies. Hmm. A lot of tap lands. I'm not so sure how I feel about these Memorial to Unities. I didn't see these in the decks in the deck before. Played some of the teamer gates. Do you think Rhythm of the Wild could be squeezed in somewhere? I like the idea of zero mana gate golems charging face. Yeah, you could probably fit that in maybe over the fourth Hydroid Crisis. If you want, I, th I think I was going to cut the fourth Hydroid Crisis anyway. Um, yeah, I'm not liking this Memorial to Unity. Like, we may just lose this game because Memorial to Unity is in our deck. May just completely cost us this game. Um, 
Anyway, uh... Alright, Marwin. Um... You could also put Rhythm of the Wild maybe in the sideboard if you want. Don't kill my Marwin. Okay, so we have four mana here, so I can go Druid plus Clan Caller. We just gotta draw these Bane Fires, hopefully. We're gonna, we have lots of mana. Our opponent could have a Wrath, but I ain't playing around it. Marwin is so good. Look, Ma, no hand. All right, good. Not a wrath. I can no longer stay. Hold that thought. Okay, so. Certainly have Sell the Wreckage as an option. We can get more Growth Chamber Guardians, and we can also put more Clan Callers on the battlefield. We can do both. I'm going to try attacking this Growth Chamber Guardian at Teferi. Or Gruel Elf Ball. It's only a matter of time. Ooh, that worked. Hmm. Interesting. Because maybe Memorial, maybe I should be Memorial Unioning to what look for like Beast Whisperer. Hmm. Kind of want to adapt to these incubation druids, though, also. Can I take a turn off? I probably can. I don't think my opponent's going to cleansing Nova me. Of course, the Nexus person is really impatient when somebody else is taking a lot of time, obviously. Leave it up to the Nexus player. Uh... The Z keyboard lets you undo your tapping. All right, so I'm going to end step. I'll be able, I'm going to crack this memorial to unity on end step. Uh, Wisp, uh, this is a donation deck that I just started playing. Here, this is the very first game. Man. Man. Hmm. Where's Beast Whisper? There you are.
Look for bane fires. Time to cycle. Cycle. Yeah, Memorial to Unity. I was talking bad about it earlier. And it did a lot for us. Did the opponent use the timeout? Alright, so if we can just find a bane fire. We can probably bane fire for 29. If not, I'll be close. Alright, fight with fire. So, uh, 6, 12, 18. Okay. That was gonna, that was gonna be lethal. Or at least, if Fire with Fire resolved, that is. I was, I was going to be able to go get another Elvish Clan Caller at instant speed. Yeah, they could certainly have a Wrath. I'm not playing around a Wrath, you know, at all. They don't play very many Wraths. It's usually just a bunch of Fogs. Ah! There's our, there's our Bane Fires! Finally found the Bane Fires. Now they're down at the bottom. That's alright, we're gonna we're gonna reshuffle those. Let's shuffle those back. Yeah, we have three bane fires in the deck. That's what we're going towards. It's 30 cards left. Alright, so we'll be able to flip the Ascanta here. Spiral. 
That's not bad for us. Down to five mana. Fifty two mana or close to it. Yeah, we have let's see. Four, eight, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty seven plus twenty is forty seven, forty eight, forty nine, fifty, fifty one, fifty two. Yeah, it looks right now we have fifty two on, on the battlefield. Um, I could also get this, get a clan caller though. So that'll make it 53, 54, 55. Um, and then, yeah, not counting Rada, whatever Rada adds. Plus our land drop will be 56 and then Rada can add some. So we have, you know, we can have a lot of mana. I mean, I have to draw Banefire. Yeah, I mean, that's. I would like to Banefire my opponent for 27. I have to draw Banefire. Uh, the Nexus player t timing out the other the opponent. The, ne the Nexus the Nexus player doing the rope thing. Take some option. Take some action. <laughs> All right, we'll go to combat. Toke it not having the guard get in way of casting it. <laughs> oh yeah, my opponent's definitely roping us on purpose. Yeah. I don't, I don't think Wizards cares too much about like people reporting that kind of thing. I mean, our, our opponent could have had... Yeah, like they could have had a, a fog effect they just put out the bottom, but. They were not happy. All right, 1 to 0. I guess Nexus players only play best of one. We got game one, so they were gone. Yeah, they concede the whole match. Yeah, they likely just disconnected. Yeah. Cuz they were they were complaining earlier in the match. They were like, you, you know, like you're go, you're go, you're go, and so I muted them. And so I guess they just disconnected. All right, we got the Bane Fire. Uh, let's go Incubation Druid. Got to increase our mana as soon as possible. So we're putting the mana creature out there. 
That's unfortunate for us. All right, so what do I want to do here? I think we're just going another druid. Yeah, this looks like, yeah, like basically is a Drake's with Terramander. Uh, it's a pretty strong deck. Certainly scared of these Terramanders. <laughs> Alright, if I play Grand Warlord Rada. Yeah, I'm just going to play this and Growth Chamber Guardian. benefit of playing the mana or creatures after the attack phase if if you're planning on um, if you're gonna be having interaction during the attack phase like with your opponent um, either blocking or they am having mana up for removal either of those you uh, it's better to play your creatures then after and your creatures and mana after the attack phase because it gives them less information uh, whenever they're making those decisions of you know, blocking or how to use their removal or anything like that. Like, they don't have uh, as much information there. Okay. So, unfortunately, Siren Storm Tamer may be destroying, maybe kind of getting rid of our Bane Fire here. But I, I want to play the Growing Rights. Go and play this. Go to Attackers. Attack, attack. Add GG. Alright, no blocks. So we'll just go to damage. Yeah, I'm not going to activate Growth Chamber Guardian yet. So I think I may just Bane Fire for one here, honestly, and just take out a Terramander. But, like, if I Bane... Oh, they cannot counter... Okay, oh, yeah, never mind. They can't counter it if I Bane Fire for a bunch. Never mind. So, basically, the fact that I used the GG and not G Red now means I can't cast this clan caller which would have been nice so I, so yeah I'll just say I'm just gonna save the bane fire then because we can just cast the bane fire for a bunch um, but I, I can still uh, adapt the incubation druid here with this four mana yeah I can just I can adapt incubation druid and adapt growth chamber guardian we might die though I think we will What'd you want? I didn't have like any. Like, I'm gonna kill them next turn with this Bane Fire. I think it's, it'll be pretty hard for my opponent to kill us. With only three spells in the graveyard at the time. How did the Teamer deck feel against Mono Red? I'm not sure which Teamer deck you're referring to. I think the only teamer deck I've played so far is Teamer Vanifer. Um and I and I honestly don't really remember with how much magic I play here, I don't really remember how that, that specific deck was against Mono Red. Um uh, Teamer Midrange on this okay, I haven't played that deck yet. Gotcha. I haven't played that deck yet. Um, yeah, anyway. Just go Bane Fire for eight. I 
they can't counter they can't counter the bane fire anyway. Like st storm tamer, like you know, when you have a big bane fire, it's uncounterable. Can't be countered. So it doesn't doesn't matter if they had the mana up with storm tamer, it wouldn't do anything. Um, this could be a little bit of a tough matchup. Yeah, a lot of flyers. This is kind of scary for us with all these flyers. CCN, welcome back. Saying, hey, Todd, keep up the great content. Always a pleasure to tune in. Thank you so much, CCN. Welcome back. Let's get some hype boats in the channel. Sub number 11. All right, and we are 66 subscribers away. Mm -hmm. Uh, shocks, yeah, shocks are probably worth it. Probably worth it. Um, is this where I want like Rhythm of the Wild? Hmm. Yeah, email should have gone through. At like 2.45 Eastern is whenever I sent the email earlier. Isn't this a matchup for Cinder Vines? No. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna take out two Beast Whispers for the two shocks. What's the funniest deck that you found so far in, in RNA? Um, our Team Our Gates deck we played is very respectable and a lot of fun to play. Alright, show me your kitties. Have fun at FNM. So it says, the first week I've watched your stream and I've been really enjoying it. I like the variety of decks that you play and your insightful comments. Good luck the rest of the day. Thank you so much. Uh, yep. Hopefully we get something between, uh, like before the Marwin. Yeah, I, th I think Hawkeye is just up on, on the bed sleeping right now. I don't see him around. So he must be... I have like kind of like two rooms uh, joined here, and the other room is where my bed is at, and so he must be over there sleeping on the bed. Hey, two nails. Orzhov Angels finished up with a 5-0 last night. Uh, yeah, we did real well with that. Um, we had a, a crazy match against uh, like an Orzhov Knight deck. Um, for the last match that was really close and crazy. Hmm. So they're not playing the Terramander here. So they want to wait a turn on Terramander. Oh, never mind. Okay, so I'm going to just Bane Fire the Terramander. Yeah, that's all I'm going to do here is just Bane Fire Terramander. The Terramander is going to be big. Um, you know, like they have a shock here that they have to cast. And for how they how they were shocking in and, and playing uh, previously, they certainly have another shock in their hand, I believe. But that that shock there is just going to, you know, like, I don't think there's a reason to play a creature into that shock. Yeah. Yeah. Last night was really successful. Um. Record wise. I know, 
like what when I first started playing Selesnya Angels, I first got I, like that was the only deck I had when I first got Arena. I was I don't know around like like twenty something, and I was like I don't know twenty like twenty one and two or twenty one and three or something like that with it. Latest says I went 7-1 and then 7-2 with Black Green Explorer and Constructed Events. Try, we'll try White Splash and Blue Splash tomorrow. Abzan feels like a better splash for Golgari due to the meta and Mortify being so flexible. Yeah, I'm thinking I like Abzan more than uh, Blue, I think, too. Because, yeah, Mortify and Night of Autumn. Night of Autumn's a big game. I guess I am attacking. When I when I made this attack with Grand Warlord Rada, honestly, I was just kind of talking. And I... I uh, um... Whew, okay, I didn't quite realize they had one mana up, so that that attack wasn't good into a potential shock. But I don't think we're gonna win this game though. We mulliganed and had a really slow hand on the draw. Not a good way to win. All right, we had a donation. We had a five dollar donation thirty minutes ago. Stream. I didn't notice with Streamlabs not wor working too well. But saying I watch a, quite a few MTG streamers and you are by far the best. Oh, that's very nice. Keep up. Uh, keep being awesome. Thanks for a good stream. And then we have a song request. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Devin. Let me get this going over. Over here. No, churches, we are not recovering. In that game there. See, that sounds really quiet. Is that really quiet on y'all's end? Um, I'm just playing that with Spotify. I like this. Uh, okay, it's only quiet if you're hard of hearing. Okay, it's just quiet on my. It's just quieter on my end then. Um, because yeah, it shouldn't be any different on y'all's end. I like the song though. Yeah, I could certainly use some more things to kill flyers. Marwin's pretty weak against shock. I'm gonna try taking out a Marwin, get a Beast Whisperer back in here. I'm gonna try that. Ravager Worm's really expensive. Um, I think I'd rather play like Kral Harpooner or any of those other things. Yeah, maybe that trample split card. Yeah, that that could that could honestly be just fine with like a, a big Marwin we give a trample also. Yeah, that's that's a very reasonable card for this. All 
I'm gonna put this song in the playlist. I I like the song. Don't kill my druid, please. Okay. Yeah, thanks, Evan. I know I had, I think I had one Great Events Fleet song on the playlist before. I think I only had one. So now we got two. They drawn cards. We need Marwyn to stay alive, but they have so many shocks and lava coils. This is just kind of a tough matchup for us. It's a deck filled with shocks, lava coils, and, you know, aggressive flyers. Like, this is... Like, if you if you want to, like, just build a deck that, that beats our deck, <laughs> it's kind of this. It's like, let me kill all your things and play all these flyers that... that kill you. Wow, no shock! No shock. Um, okay. So now... How am I spending my mana here? Because this only gets creatures? Okay. Where are our lands? Alright, there we go. Is Marwin the only archer without reach? It's a good question. It's very possible Marwin's the only archer without reach. Very possible. This is brand new. Alright, so that's five instants and sorceries. Alright, can we kill them? Hmm. Probably not. I mean, that sure looks like a bow. I mean, I kind of want to play the other Beast Whisperer, but maybe we just don't have time for that. I should have just played the Beast Whisperer earlier.
All right, as long as we don't die this turn. Hey, what's up, Zerf? Happy Friday. All right, as long as we don't die this turn. You think we're very likely dead at 16? I couldn't I couldn't kill them that last turn. Like I I couldn't do 16. So they already have 11. Well, they they have to spend mana on this on this part. 1 2 3 4 5 6. So right yeah, it's right now it's 6. They'd have to draw they'd have to cast 5 spells and have another mana left over. Well, they haven't had shock like this whole game. So they need it. So they need to spend one blue mana on Terramander and have three more spells. Well, if this discovery hits two spells, I guess we're dead. If that hit two spells on top, then they get to surveil them both. Nope, only one land to the graveyard. So now shock kills us. Okay. Yeah, they had land shock. That that kills us. So I don't I don't think we were very likely dead, but there was a chance that we died. And chart of course discovery put a bunch of spells there. I don't know if I should have bane fired the dragon. I think it's kind of likely. Our opponent had so many cards. I think it's kind of likely they have dive down. And I think, why is it, why is this music, what is this sound effect going? Just going to keep on doing this? Really? What? <laughs> it never stops? So adapt is bugged. Um, so yeah, if I I could could have used the bane fire there on the the Drake. Um, but I thought it was a pretty I thought it was a better chance that they had dive down for the Drake than them killing us that next turn. Wait, y'all liked that? Is it still going? It's still going. All right, so Fire with Fire still gets to take out this Wild Growth Walker here. Not kicked. The Domery is going to be a tad annoying. If they play Domery in minus... We can bane fire and kill the Domri. Growing rights and Simic. You need to have a lot of creatures for growing rights. Um, I am interested in playing integrity, or is it incongruity? Incongruity intervention. I want to try that out in Simic. Hey, box. Doing pretty good today. Little. A little worn out after the 13 hour stream, but we're back. All right, Midnight Reaper. Come on, let's get some elves. Elf time. All right, that's an elf. That is an elf. They could certainly have a removal spell for this. That'd be unfortunate, but there's only one card in their hand that we don't know about. 
So it's it's really unlikely that they have a removal spell. It's not really unlikely, but it's slightly unlikely. Um, opinions on Naya midrange. There are a lot of good cards in the Naya colors, and yeah, I think Naya midrange. Ooh, I look forward to seeing you running away. Is probably pretty good. Okay. So I'm just going to. Uh, have them chump with Jade Light and draw a card. I think that's worth it. Yeah, unfortunately, I started this match a little too. Uh, soon. I'll have to restart the client after this match so you can get the ooze sound out of here. I wonder since we adapted there if it if the ooze sound went away now. Nope. Still there. So when your opponent is adapting, do not concede when your opponent's adapting thing is on the stack. Otherwise, they'll just keep on making the sound forever. Gonna take a gander. No, no geese here. Ugh. Those are a couple hits. So we're gonna go ahead and bane fire this uh, Domri next turn, so they can't give Carnage Tyrant haste. Yeah, we gotta let the effect resolve. All right, well, they weren't even trying to give the Carnage Tyrant haste anyway. We will rise again. Hmm. I, don't, I need mana. Don't have mana. So that's likely going to do it for us. I just need a lot faster start. I don't think I should have kept that hand. I think I think that was just a really bad keep on my part. I think that was the, the biggest mistake with that game. I shouldn't have kept that hand. Um Yeah, the Growth Chamber Guardian was a six six at the time, but once the clan callers died, then it went back down to a four four, so it died as well. I could certainly see playing Rhythm of the Wild here. Um, maybe rhythm over Rada. Yeah, I could see playing rhythm over Rada. Yeah, I kind of like that. Rada's very weak, you know, of course, to finality, like the rest of our deck. Um, but we may not be, like, attacking too much against, like, the other creature deck. And uh, I like giving our Marwins haste and things like that. Uh, 
Okay, game two. If we do a little better. What's up, Hawkeye? Our opponent's hand was really good. You know, they had Jade Light into... Or, uh, sorry, Wow Growth into Jade Light into Midnight Reaper. And then Domri and Carnage Tyrant. You know, like, it's just... Their hand was never stopping. Hopefully they don't... Hopefully they stumble a little bit more this time. All right, we got lands. So now we need to find Marwin, Beast Whisperer, uh, Growing Rights... We don't have lands, I guess. We have we have mana. We have a very good first two turns. The thing is, is after this, we don't really have anything to do. But our first two turns were awesome. Hmm. It's cost nine to kick. I can have eight for next turn. So drawing a land, I get to kick that. I could play like clan caller and attack, but that's like one option. I'm gonna just adapt this, and then use that to cast the clan caller. And uh, next turn, I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if we draw a land, it's nine. And we get to kick a fight with fire. All right, they missed a land drop. Ooh. Let's go three and a seven. Put them down to 10. Make sure they can't gain life, even if they draw a land and have a jade light. Gotta love the three mana in play, kick and fight with fires. All right, so our opponent did stumble. Like I was hoping that, like I was saying that I hoped they would do. They went ahead and did that, thank you opponent. Maybe Banner's better than Rhythm. Maybe it's Banner I want, not Rhythm. If we need to go big. Hey, QQ Image, good evening. Yep, we got some Elf Ball here. We'll go one, one Banner, one Rhythm. Let's split the difference, play one of each. Yeah, I don't like Stony Strength myself. Um, I don't think that's really worth it as a card. Yeah, it's still turn two Incubation Druid. Maybe we'll draw a forest here. I wonder if we have too many mountains. Is that possible? Do we, do we not have enough like turn one green sources? We only have 11, so we have 11 turn one green sources. Is that enough? Doesn't feel like a whole lot. Because, you know, Memorial to Unity, you can't use that on turn one. No, we've been... We've been kind of stuck on green mana in a, in a previous game as well. Untap with Marwin. Untap with Marwin. Ooh. 
Ooh. All right, so they're two turns away from finality. Hey, stop. I do not, I'm not able to kick. Really? I, I, I added the red mana to use that. Come on, deck. What do you think I added that red mana for? Do you think I just just wanted to just add this red mana to my mana pool, not for for no reason? It's annoying. Don't get to play that growth chamber guardian there. All right, so we got to worry about finality next turn. Yeah. Nothing I can really do about finality, though, here. Unfortunately. Like, finality will kill everything except for Incubation, Druid, and Marwyn. It will kill Clan Caller, Guardian, Llanowar Elf, Llanowar Elf. I can't really stop that from happening. Um... I can still... Yeah, so I, could, I should probably... I, I need to adapt to the Incubation Druid this turn so it doesn't die to finality. Um, I could cast... All right, no, I probably can't cast Fight with Fire also. So let's just attack, 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 attack here. And then, if they cast Finality, they're dead, though, because Midnight Reaper... Yeah, if they cast Finality, they're dead. Okay, not... Not Finality. Well, Marwins, Marwins are legendary, so having, other Mar having new Marwins... Stop biting me. Bad draw. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight mana now. Hey, hi, Shen. Hmm. 
Maybe I should be attacking with Lanor Elf there too. No. Just need my Marwin not to die. Yeah, if we had one land there that last that last turn. How you doing, Hawkeye? Okay. Alright, so we're just going to be pumping up this Growth Chamber Guardian, getting the last one out of our deck. We have six cards. What do they got? Yeah, I can. I can now. Now, like, when, well, whenever we untap, I can. Now that we have Marwen. Yeah, if we if we untap with all this mana, yeah, we can we can kill them. If we untap with Marwen and Marwen and Incubation Druid. All right, two nails. Take care. Prepare the gallows. We've got company. I'll destroy all that you hold precious. So do they have instant speed removal? Alright, come on, land. No, we may have to just start attacking them. I can just I'm just gonna kill this thing. Let's just do this and attack them. There we go. Just go ahead and attack them. That'll do. That'll do. All right. Two and one. No, no, no. I don't want to play. I was just collecting prize. Cancel. Cancel. Are you kidding me? Why are we never lucky? Well, I wanted to reset it so I could get the, the sounds back on. Never lucky. The cancel button works sometimes, but not if it's like about to pair. And that was fastest pairing ever by Arena, right? Yeah, at least yeah, at least it made up for it with a pretty good draw. We got this Marwin on turn two that we get to start doing stuff with. All right, let's check the sound. Just drowning. Our opponent kept a one lander. What are they doing over there? What are you doing keeping Temple Garden? So this is like green white tokens. Presumably, they're keeping a one lander. Mm -hmm. See he's playing Rex Age against tokens. I'll play a couple of Rex Ages over the Radas. And uh, let's go. I wouldn't expect a Bant mid-range player to, to keep one land. But, you know, certainly could be. Bant Fog, at least I have some Rex Ages against him. Maybe it's 
Maybe it's like Abzan midrange. With a bunch of mer Merfolk branch walkers. Make up the one land with that. Now I played Mardu Angels the last two days. So playing some other decks here. It's tough. Uh, only playing four four decks a day, you know? It's it's tough to fit everything in. No, I don't think Ferocidon's getting unbanned at all. I don't... Yeah, I just don't think it will. You know, that doesn't mean that I don't think it shouldn't. It's just... It's not going to. Um, what are we doing here? We're on the draw where we... Like, Marwin's one of our best cards. They don't have as much removal... We had two draws that we can draw any of our one or two drops. Do we have a whole lot of one or two drops? Dun, dun, dun. There we go. All right. So they're Naya. Could fight with fire the their Lanoar elf, but I think it's better to save the fight with fire. Let's try to get a lot of mana with this Marwin. Yeah, I need to kill that thing. <laughs> Gonna save this fight with fire. Oh, they're not even keeping it. I guess you know, so they don't have the second white source. Dilt. Can you suggest a deck for the Ravnica block event? Um, I don't know about this event, but I think Green White has a whole lot of good tools in the Ravnica block. Um, With like Tristani, March of the Multitudes, and all the stuff in Guilds of Ravnica, like Amara, and then you have like Incubation Druid and Growth Chamber Guardian um, in this set. I think you have a whole lot of stuff, good stuff in Green White. Ah, it's a current event in MTGA. I didn't even know that. Wait a I should not have played this Growth Chamber Guardian. I should have just put, should have just adapted this last turn. Yep, should have just adapted this last turn. Now they need another white source, so it's not very likely that they ju they're just going to have another white source. All right, no other white source, so they're not being able. They can't activate their Splendid Angel. All right, time to kick this. Kill that. Kill that. Kill that. Kill that. Kill that. Let's see. Three to this one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, three and one. Fight with fire is sweet. Hey, we got 20 gems. 
All right, back up to uh, almost 6,000 gems now. Okay, let's actually exit the client here. And restart so you can get the sound effects back. Yeah, exclamation point deck list gets you the deck list. You can always find it there. There you go. Thanks, call sign. Yeah, fight with fire is a really good card, especially with all this, this mana uh, that this deck can produce. Um, let's see. All right. I don't know exactly where I had this SFX thing at. I think it was somewhere like around this area. Y'all have to let me know um, if it sounds like like the same same as it did before. Um, and uh, and everything, how it sounds. Okay, we get to play first. We're so lucky. Uh, can we draw land? Is, so is this... Is the sound effects and stuff about the same volume as was before? Lowered about 15%. Alright, did not get the land from Marwin yet. All right, how's that? We're slowly just playing mana creature after mana creature. Slowly getting there. The Marwin can explode for us, though. No, our bane fire. Perfect. Cool. Thanks, Marka. Yeah, I only need one land. As long as... Hmm. As long as Marwin doesn't die. Down, 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 down. What if they play Ritual of Soot? That'd be annoying. Ooh, they got me. No land. No land for the opponent. Growing rights. All right, we gotta add mana here though. So six. That'll leave us with five. Five because of the druid. Better not be a wrath. Come on, their opponent's so dead next turn. Please don't wrath me. Don't wrath me. Whoever decided four mana wraths, if this is Kaya's wrath, that'd be it. Whew, cannot be Kaya's wrath. No Kaya's wrath. Okay. That doesn't say oh I missed a, a mana. Three, six, seven, eight. Okay, that mana doesn't matter. We have exactly eight. Which is enough to adapt to things.
attack. Hooray. Never punished. Okay. So they're Abzan, but they looked certainly like a more controlling version of Abzan. Uh, it's looked like an Abzan control, not really like an Abzan creature. Um, and uh, so that's something to be wary about. They had duress. Yeah, we saw them just play duress, Vrasis Contempt, and Consume. Are like the only three cards we saw them cast. So let's get these banners up in here. And maybe trim some Fight With Fires. Nah, trim some Bane Fire. Could certainly see them playing like Lear Dawnbringer and all that kind of stuff. Could just like go the normal route and just trim the Radas. Yeah, we can do that. All right, Banner for Rada. Why Abzan control and creatures is so much better? Because. Hmm. That's not good. Some people like to, you know, do their own thing. Some people just want to play control. Why is Rada bad against control? It's not necessarily. Um. Yeah, no, I wouldn't say Rada is bad against control. I. I did take it out of the deck. Um, you know, something has to come out. And I just took out the four mana spell when we added in five mana spells. More of a curve consideration than anything. No, I don't think Cinder Vines is going to be any good here. Don't worry about this here Beast Whisperer opponent. Nah, don't worry about that card at all. Tilt. Do a bunch of damage. Not really. I think we're gonna have to. Hmm. Just gonna take the turn off and grow the Marwin. So I play Growth Chamber and Druid and Growing Rights, and then flip Growing Rights. But then if they have Wrath. Not really, not good for me. Maybe I should just be. Act I should probably just be activating the growth chamber guardian. It's probably just really important to adapt to this thing before they kill it against a removal heavy deck. Certainly, just a worse turn for us than you know playing growth chamber plus druid plus growing rights. But it's kind of it's safer though, which maybe against the car maybe I shouldn't be so safe. It's reasonable. All hands on deck. I'll take what's mine. Huh. So they're letting me kill Vraska. It's interesting. Let's 
we'll go other incubation druid. Adapt that. Attack Vraska. Next time we meet, you won't be so lucky. <laughs> I'll make use of that later. Cry of the Carnarium? Or Status Statue? Well, Cry will take out this Incubation Druid. Statue would be able to kill the Marwyn. So I'll go ahead and give them Cry. So I can just... Can I cast Fight with Fire next turn? 3, 6, 79. Yeah, so I could kick a Fight with Fire and kill the Karn. Double Cry would still just kill two creatures. It'd just be like two one-for-one -one removal spells. Yeah, because we got 3, 5. New Karn. I battle for the they want status statue quite a quite bad. Return. So now hopefully we draw a land here. Because like presumably they kill Marwen. Oh no, they're getting the Arch for Oscar back? They're just gonna let me attack this Karn and kill this Karn? What is this last card? Alright, hopefully we draw a land. Well, that's not bad. Hmm. So I can play the the clan caller and still attack out at Karn and then one removal spell doesn't save their Karn if this is instant speed removal spell. But then the clan caller and the druid die to the cry. It's probably not that big a deal. Actually, I don't does it they don't need to though. Yeah, I can just attack with this and this and adapt the incubation druid. I will endure. Okay, so now I'm playing the Growing Rights, and I'm going to transform Growing Rights. Um, five, six, seven. It's not enough. So we'll transform Growing Rights. So now the Itlamok will be able to adapt the Druid, so the Druid won't die to Cry of Carnarium. And now we have the Itlamok in play. Hey Marigosh, and HW Scott, thanks you so much for subscribing there with Twitch Prime. That is sub number 12 on the day. The Streamlabs notifications aren't working for some reason here. But thank you so much. Okay. So they have one unknown card in hand. Um. <laughs> yeah. The notif yeah, no notification sound is rough. Um. Alright, I'm just going to add six. Cast banner, and let's go. Elf. No, not no, don't tap don't tap the Illamok.
Bad at Lamont. So I'm playing into another Wrath here. Um, can add five, but of course all these things are just replacing themselves with the banner, so it's really not that ba that uh, big of a deal for us. I should activate the I should activate the Growth Chamber Guardian first before casting that though, because we could have drawn the the other could have drawn like one of those. Ooh, another banner. Another banner. I mean, do they have settle? Does this seem like a settle the wreckage kind of thing? Well, it's not going to be... Oh, well, no, it could be a settle still, I suppose. Let's draw some cards. I don't have the red mana right now. Attach my red mana. I'll, I'll red mana them later. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be le I'm gonna be attacking for lethal here. If it's a settle, they get three creatures, right, or four creatures. Exile that card, draw a card. Ooh, that better be a really good card you're drawing. Hmm, I guess I haven't played a land yet. If you if you tap these incubation druids, auto tap, I'm gonna be mad at you. I'm gonna have to just I'm gonna have to just do this myself. See what auto tap. Whoa, Z, untap. What are you doing tapping these incubation druids? Oh, it costs double red. Okay. Well, can I untap that Marwin? Okay, we're good. All right, whatever. I'm just going to attack them. Alright, they're at three. That's fine. Now you can wrath my board. Good, Kaya's wrath. Down to one. I like it. 
But we will rebuild. Oh, they didn't even give the mana for Kaius Wrath. That's unfortunate. I guess all my creatures died a ritual set though. Maybe they draw a ritual set. What if they just drew the Kaius Wrath off of that that thing? All right, we're, we are four and one. Final boss time. Final boss. We were undefeated against final bosses yesterday. Can we keep that going? All right, final boss. Got to get in the mood. Awesome, IPD. Glad you're enjoying that. Yeah, that t Gates deck is so much fun. But yeah, you're pinging down people with Niv-Mizzet and then uh, Gate Summit. I like it. Is the Nexus Shuffle a trigger you can stifle? No. It's a replacement effect. It doesn't go to the graveyard and trigger. It just... Yeah, so no. Yeah, so no. It's good English. Uh, I do not know when FF7 comes out for the Switch. I just played FF7, like, I guess it was, it was last year, or was it the year before? I just replayed, I guess FF7 was like last year, FF9 the year before, just replayed them uh, on my phone. They have just really good mobile versions. Well, this is a, this is a really tough matchup for us here. These are a bunch of 1-1s one that die to, like, Fanatical Firebrand and everything. Like, I want to play Marwyn, but Marwyn's just going to die. It's still worth it, I suppose. Make them use their Firebrand? I don't know. Yeah, 9's a lot of fun. It's just not likely that we're going to have like the mana to go Marwyn plus something else. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what we have to do. We have to trade a three mana creature for a one mana creature. There's a chance they wouldn't use the Firebrand there and I get to untap with Marwyn. There's a chance. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a slow red draw, which is really good against me, because, like, they're going to have a lot of spells here, they're going to finish me off, because, like, these, like, it's, I mean, this is a good hand for them. Um, you know, lots of spells and not lands is good. Because we're just trading one for one, and I'll just, you know, I've drawn more lands, and I'll just kind of run out of cards, where they'll have more cards. It worked. We got a larger Marwyn. Sorry, Clan Caller, you're gonna die, but Marwyn's not dead automatically. Why not Bane Fire for one, the Firebrand, to slow them down? That is not a good trade with a Firebrand. Or sorry, with a Bane Fire. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, Bane Fire. That's not a good trade for Bane Fire. No, Marwyn's dead. Dash Assault. That's all your fault. Banned from the channel. You said Marwyn's definitely dead. All your fault. 
Marwan was not going to die until he said that. Wasn't even going to die. Alright, let's get this steam can out of here. Yeah, surprised they didn't just kill the clan caller with a firebrand and they just attacked instead. Pretty surprised about that. <laughs> yeah, maybe Marwin could have won. <laughs> Thanks, hey Jeff. Uh, nope. Not blocking that one. Um, Mardu Angels and Bant Midrange. And Teamer Gates. Hashtag mill for life. I think that I think the mill deck was, you know, better the second time. Oh yeah, our opponent probably does have Chain Whirler. Yeah, it wants to kill all, kill all of our things with the Chain Whirler. Yeah, I mean we're just we're just really dead. We drew all of our one toughness things and they drew all their firebrands. And we are dead. All right, growing rights can, I don't know, find Beast Whisperer or something. Well, it's probably just a bunch of Chain Whirlers in their hand that are going to kill us. Growth Chamber Guardian is a real card. Let's see what we got in our sideboard. Two lands were plenty for them. Shock. Foragers. Hmm. I can put counters on my things with Rhythm of the Wild. <laughs> Drew, it's okay that red deck the red deck wins a game. This is a good matchup for red. It's okay. Um, hmm. Probably just have to take out Marwin. Like Marwin and Elvish Clan Caller are both just so bad in this matchup. Well, Clan Caller is for sure coming out. Like, that that card really is very bad. But Marwin, you know, we could play it and play other things immediately. So, like, Clan Caller is out. Do I want Banner, maybe? Maybe I need Banner. Grow my creatures and 
and stuff. Yeah, Banefire isn't great, um, but I do need to kill like their Steamkins and everything. Gotta kill those Steamkins. I'm gonna take out Growing Rights. We're not having four creatures on the battlefield ever to flip it. I'll take out Growing Rights, put in one Rhythm and two Banners. So in all right, so I'm gonna play Rootbound Crag first. So the next turn we have the option to either have Shock available, like we can play Shock and Memorial to Unity, or I can play Druid. Playing Druid. You know, they could obviously they can bolt Druid, but that, you know, takes most of their turn this this turn. My favorite team in FF7. Ugh. It is. Um, you know, obviously Cloud. I like uh, Tifa as well. Cloud and Tifa, and it's it's really the third that I kind of uh, switch up a whole lot on. But I, I think I kind of like Barrett actually. I kind of like just the the OG squad of like Cloud, Tifa, and Barrett. No, I will be doing a, an FF7 stream. Yeah, I like to play to get to try to get the max stats. I like like whenever I play a game, I like trying to do every single thing in the game. Um, I like trying to trying to get everything uh, and have the get the characters to like max level and everything. Get all the uh, yeah all the level four limit breaks everything. Sid is real powerful when you when you get him. Yeah, Barrett does have good lines. All right, I guess I'm just a, I just guess we're just shocking this thing now. It'll save us some life. Cause I'm going banner next turn. Um, what they deal damage to me with? Oh, they lightning, lightning st struck me. Oh, they didn't. They just paid three mana for the lightning strike was on my end stuff. They just paid three mana for light up the stage. Gotcha. Skewer and wizard's lightning. Yuck. Crowl forgers will, like gain us one life if we draw it. Please not be able to kill me. Nah, light up the stage isn't broken. 
We we're just playing a deck with a bad red deck matchups right now. And you know, like their deck is like, you know, looking really good. Uh oh. Uh oh. We need them to draw a lot of lands, please. Draw a lot of lands. If you want to be a band nexus, you need disenchants and counter spells and a clock. These are things you need. Okay, that's a good. They drew a land and a steamkin. Those are two good cards. For us. Um, I think I just go crazy this turn and just play a bunch of things. And then try to just have lethal next turn. I mean, I, I can't kill them from 20 this turn, so... Yeah, might as well. Land where else are free. They just cycle. They just... Draws a card and they're just free because of Marwin. Cool, you even crafted the gate list and it's a ton of fun to play and it's decent too. Awesome. Yeah, that's a good that's a good list. Cool, glad you're enjoying it. I've not played a land yet. Fleck, the email, I already sent the email at 245. Uh, I was telling you, you can you can whisper me your email address, though, since you didn't get it. And I'll, I'll send it to you now while I'm streaming. But you got to whisper me your email address, though. Okay, I'll try to win next turn. Please don't kill us. No burn spells. We can survive one burn spell. We cannot survive two. These are both burn spells. We're dead. They're both direct damage. We're dead. Like any kind of direct damage. You know, like firebrands would count. Like any, if they have two of anything like that. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't double, it just adds two. So now that's going to do four. That's a direct damage thing. So that deals four. So any other direct damage, we're dead. Please don't have one. Ah, they had two direct damage. No. Ugh. Oh, we tried. Dang. All right, four two. Final boss got us. I did not see the list opta. I did not see that. All right, we got twenty gems again. Seventeen hundred gold. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. So, in summation, I liked this deck. This deck was pretty fun. This deck. This deck really was fun. I liked it. I uh, liked kicking the fight with fires and bane fires. Um, I think maybe our three cinder vines are probably not really too necessary in the sideboard, or maybe we don't need all three. Like we have a lot of disenchants there. We have a lot of stuff against like hard control, I suppose. 
probably just need more crowd foragers um, or other life gain things in here. Um, yeah, we probably need some other life gain things against the red decks. Red's going to be a tough matchup, especially like Goblin Chain Whirler. So it's going to be tough, but that's okay. This deck was pretty fun, though. I liked it. All right, if you're watching this on YouTube later, don't forget, hit, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching.